Today, we welcome more than 1,000 students from California, from the north to the south, with each young lady having a chance to learn from other Latinas, making new friends, and hopefully begin a journey that will help each one grow personally, educationally, and professionally. To those who have been in the workforce for a while, this event continues to underscore the roles we play as professionals and as examples to the next generation. It also reinforces or introduces new ideas that can only further your strategic thinking and the roles we play at work and at home. Consider this day as the beginning or the renewing of hopes and dreams. Because over four decades, this conference has opened the door for the realization of hopes and dreams for hundreds of thousands of women who have come before you. Over the course of time, Mexican and Mexican-American women, along with other outstanding Latinas, have boldly stood up in the name of justice and equality to demand change. It was their legacy in combination with the social and political movements of civil rights, women's rights, the Chicano movement, the Chicana feminist movement that transcended the 1970s when Mexican-American women raised their voices and proclaimed their right to self-determination and equal access to jobs, education, and childcare. They worked long and hard to resist, to survive, to educate themselves, and to become informed and politically aware of what was happening in our community. And they raised their voices and claimed the right to become the leaders, to become the decision makers, and to become the power brokers of their day. The multiple voices of Mexican and Mexican-American women reached the ears of MAOF, the Mexican-American Opportunity Foundation. To its founder and leader, who was my father, Dionisio Morales. He, along with his staff and board, answered the call to action. And they, were, and they realized that times were changing and that equality of representation for women in corporations and in public service was critically needed. He challenged corporations to stop the talking and start the hiring. He wanted to, re to see representation of the community at high-ranking levels, and he specifically wanted women to meet that challenge as well. The Women's Conference was then born out of a desire to provide an opportunity for women to meet other women who had been able to educate themselves, to break those glass ceilings that could not be broken, and become successful in diverse fields. MAOF wanted to give women an opportunity to be able to ask, how did you make it? Because I would like to make it too. So about three or four professional Latinas were invited to MAOF offices to speak to approximately 30 to 35 trainees of the on the, their on-the-job training program. A year later, the gathering was held at a restaurant. The years followed, the numbers grew, the event was held at hotels in Los Angeles, at the LA Convention Center, and finally at this beautiful Pasadena, City of Pasadena Convention Center. With the growth of this event, from a group of approximately 30 trainees to thousands of attendees, the conference has expanded to include workshops, job fairs, fashion shows, and luncheons honoring outstanding Latinas from around the nation and abroad. MAOF's intention has been all along to invite women from the community with students of all ages 
from diverse backgrounds and from an array of educational institutions to be our guests without worrying about expensive conference fees in order to take advantage and to enjoy this inspiring day. We are eternally grateful to all who have supported and sponsored this historically important day. Without their support, none of this would have happened in the past, nor would we have been able to bring this to you today. As the daughter of the founder of this prestigious organization, I am proud to be co-chairing this event that is so close to my heart. And I once again encourage you to maximize all that is being offered to you today. I will close with these thoughts, which I hope you will always remember as a personal message from the late Dionisio Morales, the founder, from his humble daughter, Margarita Morales Padilla, and from MAOF. Please remember to always keep your head held high and stand tall with dignity and respect. Always be proud of your history, your heritage, your culture, your language. Be proud of who you are as Latinas, but more importantly, be proud of yourselves as Latinas of Mexican roots, of Guatemalan roots, of Salvadoran roots, or any other Latin American roots living in the United States. And never let anyone forget about or disrespect the historical, the rich historical, cultural, and economical contributions that our community has given with its blood, its sweat, and its tears to make this the great nation that it is today. Never let anyone convince you that you should not get an education or that you should not follow your dreams. And once you are successful, never forget your community. Remember that as long as our community suffers from the injustices of discrimination, racism, anti-immigrant policies, and hateful speech, we must always remember to work together no matter how successful, how famous, how rich, whatever position you may have, whatever age you might be at, we must always, always work together and collaborate to create positive solutions for positive change and make a difference for today and for generations to come. <laughs>